Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In the past, I've shown you a method of transitioning from a square surface into a cylindrical one using the circularized tool inside of Maya. But what if you don't have access to the circularized tool? In this video, I'm going to be going over another approach, which is more traditional and can be applied in any software, regardless of the tools you have available to you. Just before we start though, if you like my content and find it helpful, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and create an eight sided cylinder. Go ahead and set the subdivisions to eight. And also we just need to draw out a cube. So these objects aren't centered to the grid. So to do this, uh, just go up here, make sure absolute transform is activated. And we just wanna set the X and the Z to zero and just go ahead and hit enter. Now they're perfectly centered in the middle of our scene and I'm just gonna move up the cylinder a little bit, just a smidge like that. Just gonna scale it down just a little bit. That seems right. Before we go ahead and start connecting these two shapes up, we just want to combine them. Select both the objects and hold shift and then the right mouse button and go down to combine. And now you can see when we select one of these objects, they both get selected as they are now considered as one object inside of Maya. And now in face mode, we want to remove the top face on the cube. Cool. And also these faces on the cylinder. Note that holding down tab allows you to paint the selection. Right. So our cylinder has eight sides and our cube has four sides, which isn't ideal. So the trick to this is to ensure you have the same amount of topology on both of these objects. This way we avoid n-gons and triangles. Therefore, let's go ahead and add some more topology to our cube. With the multi-cut tool, so shift and right mouse button, use the multi-cut tool to add some more edges. And if you hold control, it will add an edge loop running the whole way through. And using the middle mouse button, you can place edges right in the middle. Our cube now has eight edges too, which is perfect for creating the join. Go ahead and select the two edges we want to bridge. So this cylinder edge and this edge on the cube. Hold shift and right click and go down to the bridge tool. And over in the attribute editor, we can set the divisions to one and we can use this edge to create a more smooth transition. With the multi-cut tool again, if we add some more edges in, like so, notice how that when we go into smooth preview to see what it looks like subdivided, we're getting very round edges on our cube, which may be what you want, but also you might not want this. And if you just go ahead and add some more edge loops in like this, it's going to result in the cylinder becoming increased too which definitely isn't what we want. The solution to this is to use more topology. And I'm just gonna demonstrate on a new set of geometry. So as we did before, just create a cube and a cylinder. Center them as we did before as well. We know we want more topology on the cube to hold the edges. So using the multi-cut tool, just add some supporting edges to hold the shape when subdivided. You can see now we're getting the result we want. Counting the edges on the cube, we can see that we have 16 edges that we need to bridge. So we need to ensure the cylinder also has 16 subdivisions. So over in the attribute editor, just make sure it's set to 16. And I'm just gonna scale my cylinder a little. Now we just wanna combine these two shapes as we did before. Selecting both these edges, so the ones on the cube and the cylinder, just bridge them together. Right, so you might find that you get some weird twisting like this. Sometimes with the bridge tool, you just need to give it a little bit of a help in hand. So if we just go ahead and undo that bridge. So we want these two edges to connect, so let's do that. And you can just hit G on the keyboard to repeat the last action. In this case, it's the bridge tool, which is what we want. And now we can just go ahead and select the rest of the loop 
Deselect in these two edges here as we don't want them to be included. Hit G to repeat the last action again. And now notice how we get a good clean bridge without any twisting. Then if we go ahead and hit free on the keyboard, you will notice that we get this nice result of a hard edge transitioning into a round cylindrical one. I hope this shines some light onto how to achieve a transition from a square shape into a cylindrical one without using the circularized tool inside of Maya. It is a little slower, but knowing how to do this is handy as you might not always have the tools you're used to available. As a tutorial bonus, let's just go over the circularized tool. Just gonna clean up this shape here. So say we had the shape and we wanted the same results. You could just select this edge here, extrude up, scale it in a little bit, hold the shift and then the right mouse button and then go down to the circularize components. And then you get this nice circle. You will need to probably rotate it a little bit to remove the twist. Extrude up again, and then in. And then you're just gonna to want to merge these edges. Right, so now when we add some more supporting edges, you can see we get a similar result to what we were doing manually just before. So yes, you can see how quick this tool is, and that's mainly due to the fact it doesn't require any thinking in terms of how many edges need to be bridged. And obviously you're not having to create extra geo such as the cylinder. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.